Harry Maguire on the verge of joining West Ham as Man United reopen talks for Todibo and a bid is imminent, but Amrabat could be even closer. With Fred set to leave this week, having to choose between Fulham, Turkish clubs and Saudi Arabian clubs, Donny van der Beek to Ralph Sociedad is edging closer. And we know Amrabat is not dependent on McTominay, it's dependent on Fred and Donny. There are reports that McTominay could stay with West Ham now, moving over to James Ward-Prowse. They don't want to pay 40 million for McTominay. Will United regret that? Or will West Ham come back in for McTominay? But Maguire looks likely to be sold with West Ham even offering Harry Maguire captaincy to get the deal done. On top of that, it looks more and more likely that MG11 could be returning to Manchester United. He's been pictured in training, training a lot lately and lots of PR and reports are coming out from the Sun. And Romano said a decision will be made before the start of the season. I think... He either goes out on loan or he comes back, but the way the PR is going, he could be returning to United. He's already returned to training and has had a few one-on-one -on -one sessions with United players, reportedly like Alanga before he left. But let's dive straight into the news. We're going to start with the McTominay situation quickly. De um, basically, David Ornstein's confirmed that uh, West Ham are now moving from McTominay to James Ward-Prowse. Are United going to regret this? Because we rejected 30 million for McTominay, we wanted 40 million, which is fair. They bid a 40 million for Conor Gallagher. I get why United have done that. However, the problem is, if McTominay sits on the bench the whole of next season and he doesn't play a lot, are we even going to get 30 million for him in a year's time? Maybe Tenog doesn't, maybe Tenog goes, well, I'm going to get Amrabat for Fred and Donny. I'm going to get Tonobo for Maguire. If I get 40 million for McTominay, I don't know who I'll actually replace him with um, because, you know, I can't get a strike within that budget. So, you know what, with Mayo injured, with the squad looking thin, even if Amrabat does come in, I'm not, an, I'm not too bothered about selling McTominay. I think that's the way Tenog looks at it. It was said by the United Muppeteers that with Fred and Van der Beek likes to go out, um, it doesn't seem, Man United don't seem desperate to sell McTominay, hence the 40 to 45 million price, but the Maguire deal sort of looking likely. And I think the situation with McTominay is, Colby Mayno is injured. I, I think we should sell McTominay 45 million, but selling Fred and Donny is going to get us Amrabat. Boom, boom, that's who Tenag wants. Selling Maguire is going to get us Todd, but that's who Tenag wants. We don't know who Tenag wants after that. Selling McTominay, who would be... Who would we replace McTominay with? We don't seem desperate to sell him. Tenog wants him, clearly in plans. So I think maybe United aren't too fussed about selling McTominay unless they get 40 to 45 million. I think we might regret that because I think he's going to spend most of the season on the bench um, and be worth a lot less. But United don't seem that bothered about it. I personally sell McTominay, but it looks like West Ham now going in for James Ward Prowse. McTominay could be less likely, but Maguire is still looking likely. However, Man City are reportedly going to put a bid for Paqueta. Um, maybe that could give West Ham even more funds to come back for McTominay. Now, continuing on, it was said on Fred by Sky Sport that Fulham looked like they are going back in for Manchester United midfielder Fred and that Manchester United are in talks with Real Sociedad to sell Donny van der Beek on a permanent deal. There's the expectation in the media that although the Fred and Donny sale has been going on a while, we know that Fred and Donny are going to be sold. Things are actually going to finally move. Regarding Fred and Donny van der Beek, they're finally going to be out the door and that this Amrabat bid from United is imminent. United have an agreement with Amrabat. Amrabat said yes to United. That has been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. Amrabat has turned down other clubs. He said yes to United. There's a verbal agreement there with Amrabat's camp and United's camp. But United haven't had any official talks with Florentina. Florentina have got his replacement. Florentina ready to sell. He's available for €25 million. Euros. Brilliant deal. But United have to wait until Donny and Fred is out before they can put in a, a potential offer to Florentina. That's what's holding out the deal. But it seems that like Donny and Fred's sale is this week and that the Amrabat bid is imminent. It's also said if Maguire goes, the Tolibo bid is also imminent. Uh, right now with Tolibo, United have reopened talks with him. So the fact that we've even reopened talks today in the last few hours for Tolibo says that they're probably confident Maguire will leave. But what was actually said, it was said by Sky Sport that the bulk of Manchester United's transfer business is done, but they retain an interest in Amrabat. And Italian sources are even saying that Man United are in the lead for Amrabat and will soon move, probably this week, by offering a fixed fee of 26 to 27 million euros, which is 23 million pounds plus bonuses. So Italian media is claiming that United are going to put in their official bid for Amrabat this week and that United still very much want Amrabat. We know personal terms isn't an issue, despite reports of a hijack from Atletico Madrid. He has agreed to join United. Potentially, if we take a while and we can't seem to sell Donny and Fred because it's been going on a while, maybe we lose out on this one if, if we're silly like we did with Cody Gappo. But looks like United are going to put a bid this week. It is Italian media to take with a pinch of salt. But we have been told the sales of Donny and Fred is imminent and the Amrabat bid is imminent. And Alfredo, Alfredo Padella, who's a very, very good journalist, who's been very good throughout this transfer window, has come out and said that Eric Tenag has two priorities before the transfer window closes, Tonobo and Amrabat. That seems to be the focus. Maguire out, Fred out, Donny out, Tonobo in, Amrabat in. So that's 
three out, two in, that is the focus. Potentially with MG11, it could be three in. It could be three in, three out this window as well. Now, let's talk about the Maguire story and then we'll get into the update on uh, Mason. It was said, West Ham are close to signing Harry Maguire. The issue, remain the issue is remaining in the wages. Maguire is due from United in compensation to what he would get from West Ham. Uh, the issue remaining sorry, is the wages United due from United. Basically, Maguire will have to half his wages from West Ham to United. But there are reports coming out that United are willing to bridge a gap in Maguire's wages to get the deal done. And Harry Maguire to West Ham is edging really, really close. Um, you know, West Ham will give Maguire, will give Man United what they want, which is 30 to 35 million. United would upset that, but it depends if Maguire wants to go or not. The big issue is he will have to half his wages. Um, United, obviously, being in the Champions League, Maguire's going to get a lot more wages this season. He wants that. Um, but there's a feeling that United would be willing to bridge the gap in Maguire's wages to just speed the deal along. United could be selling Maguire for 35 million and signing Tolibu for 38 million, which would be some of the best business United have done. It's even been reported that David Boyce is willing to give um, Harry Maguire captaincy. Um, so the fact that David Moyes could be giving Harry Maguire captaincy might make Maguire more keen to join West Ham, having lost it at United. Um, I just want to get into this report quickly. It was said as well from Clara and Hugh that Man United are prepared to soften their 45 million valuation for Scott McTominay if West Ham or another club agree um, to 10 million in additional add-ons. This would include finishing a European place or a domestic cup over the next five seasons. So it has been said that with West Ham going in for James Ward Prowse, Man United might lower their McTominay fee to see if they can sell McTominay on top of Maguire. I think if you sell McTominay, there's the funds there to potentially make a move for Kane in January, who looks set are more and more likely to stay at um, Tottenham with the way things are looking. But let's get onto the story on Mason. There's a lot of news that's come out of Mason from the Sun. An interesting story about his return. He's, re he's obviously returned to training, uh, but he could he return to proper United training? It was said, uh, Mason is on the verge of completing his Manchester United comeback. The only thing that remains to be decided is whether he returns to the first team or goes out on loan. So that's kind of been the case for a while. It was said that Mason is desperate to return to Manchester United team as soon as possible and wants to put the last 18 months behind him. United have got to make a decision. You know, he's going to have a footballing career, whether people like it or not. The charges were dropped, but they need to make a decision. Is he going to return to the first team or are we going to send him out on loan? Personally, I've said I think it would be smarter to send him out on loan. You can address how good he is. Um, if he goes to Italy, there's going to be a lot less mental pressure because he's going to get a lot of stick from English fans. Let's be honest. And obviously, there's no disruption to the dressing room. You can see if he's good or not. The training videos, he didn't look particularly good. You can just assess how fans react to his response, to him playing. You can see how good he is when he plays. And it will be easier for him to return to play football in Italy than England. He's going to get a lot of stick. But United haven't made that decision yet. Um, so, yeah, it was said as well that apparently the Manchester United players are behind Greenwood and um, talks about his future in the final phase. I reckon Man United have probably somewhat made a decision, but have probably gone through the squad and the players. But I do think this is PR. There's a lot of Man United players that did unfollow him on Instagram and will want to protect their PR image. So, you know, I don't know if I believe a lot of those stories that the players are all behind him because there was leaks saying that actually the players are very split on whether he should return or not. And players care about their image and PR. You've got to remember that. But it was also said there is talk of Mason being buddied up with Manchester United teammates. who has a support network around in the club. Want to ease him back in gently and don't want him to feel isolated. And this, this story is really because there are reports coming out that the dressing room do have mixed feelings on his return. Which is why, again, I think it's a risk. Um, do you want to upset the dressing room? Tenog fixed a lot of dressing room issues post-Ragnick. That from I'm looking at this from a footballing perspective, from a neutral perspective, footballing perspective. I'm not looking at the whole horrible situation that went down. But, you know, Man United fans have very strong opinions on this. I don't like talking about this because people get so toxic. You know, whatever you say, people will disagree. They'll be toxic about it. Some fans really want him back. I mean, some fans are weird. They probably would rather have him back than speak to their own mum. You know, some fans are obsessed with this guy. He hasn't played in so long. And then other fans don't even want to see his face again. You know, there will be mixed feelings in the dressing room. You know, the women's team felt uncomfortable. But, you know, and the fact that, you know, he would be buddied up to return to United, is that because some players at United might not be so welcoming? It's an interesting one, but it, the way they're talking about it is if it seems like United are preparing for his return. You know, we're going to buddy him up with people. We spoke to the teammates. I think this report of him doing an interview, the fact that he's had the baby, the fact that he's back with the girl, the fact that there's constant PR and a decision will be made this week. I wouldn't be surprised if he's on the return. There's a, there's a feeling he could just be chucked in the 23 squad and not the first team training. 
but it was said obviously he became a father last month and because of that he's reluctant to relocate and apparently the player's preference is to stay in Manchester. He's either going out on loan or he's returning. It looks more like he's going to return in all honesty, but I don't know that for sure. This is me just speculating based on news. I think if he was going to go out on loan, they would have made that decision sooner to hurry it along. I think he will return. I think Tolibo will come when Maguire is sold. I think Amrabat will be done. I'm confident of that because Fred and Donny will be sold. So it looks like it could be three out and three in. But please do smash that like button. Of course, subscribe down below if you're new. That is the latest Manchester United news today. Thank you for watching. I will be back later. Bye.